Wood Lawfare Field Tour is owned by the Blois family of Upper Nama River in Hans County. It's part of a generational dairy farm and their total woodland holdings are approximately 600 acres. The woodlot has been FSC certified since 2012 and has mostly seen only small harvest by the Blois family for logs and firewood. It was recommended as clear cut. In 2003 after Hurricane Juan, approximately 100 acres was salvaged due to storm damage and has since been pre-commercially thin. The harvest sites we toured during the event took place during the winters of 2018 and 2021 with a mixture of commercial thinning and a regular shelter wood being carried out. Oh, so even, you know, if we get two more harvests over the next 10 years here, this regen is going to be up and nice and tall and you, you already have your, your next forest in there. Most of the harvesting work in these sites is completed using a small wheeled harvester and forwarding system with smaller amounts of large wood cut by chainsaw. There's also small patches of younger regeneration that was pre-commercially thinned using just a small brush saw. Assistance for all of these treatments were provided through a mixture of the Association for Sustainable Forestry, the FSC program, and Elmsdale Lumber. At this point in the tour, we had stopped to look at a cavity tree that was retained during the harvest of 2018 as a potential habitat site. It had not been active post-harvest until the summer of 2022 when a family of yellow-bellied sapsuckers used it as a nest site. Uh, yellow-bellied sapsuckers actually had a nest in that cavity, so it's kind of, you know, you, you pat yourself on the back a little bit and say, oh geez, I actually did something right for once here. We also took the time to look at an old hemlock snag with loose bark that was not seen in the video. This snag was used by a brown creeper as a nest site in 2021 mostly stopped to look at this to highlight the importance of retaining large snags and coarse woody material on your woodlot as potential habitat. This stop of the tour was looking at a 2018 commercial thinning that took place in a tolerant mixed wood stand. Some of the species present in the site were red spruce, hemlock, yellow birch, and red maple. The harvest site was approximately 5 hectares. We were able to harvest over 300 tons of saw logs, pulp wood, and some biomass from the site. It's regenerating extremely well, though we're very concerned about the potential hemlock woolly adelgid. We hope to someday guide this stand back to being true old growth stand, though it's not quite there yet as it's only 90 years old and doesn't meet the 125 year old threshold and also is low on coarse woody material on the site. Those long-lived species, those lived species that Ryan just mentioned here, we have long-lived intermediate to full shade tolerant species. With the idea being that when you come in with a harvest, you actually increase the amount of lits. So after you go in and do an intervention, you actually have a greater percentage of those lit species when you finish than when you started. And that's why they talk about chasing the fur. This site was a small shelterwood harvest that we carried out. What we really did here was just follow along with what nature was telling us it was going to do anyway and harvested the declining fir and white spruce, leaving the hemlock and tolerant hardwoods to continue growing and provide shade and seed trees for the future forest. The retained trees here won't be harvested for 30 or more years as we'll wait for the uh, understory to come along. It needs to be done. The final stop of the tour was in a younger mix with stand of red spruce, yellow birch, red maple and a few sugar maples as well as a lot of declining balsam fir. The stand was commercially thinned in the winter of 2021. Our goal was to provide growing space for the longer lived species. We also retained a lot of the fir for wind resistance knowing full well that they would likely be dead before the next entry into the stand. This is okay though as the stand is low on snags and coarse woody material. Some of the fur blew down during Hurricane Fiona, but overall they did their job and most of the stand was unaffected. Uh, and I wanted to uh, maybe supplement the income a little bit with it and to, uh, to uh, have a productive force that would, you know, be uh, for future generations.